And guys, I, I apologise if you have to listen to my sniffles throughout this, um, because we, we've currently got a heat wave here in the UK, and it's raising havoc with uh, with my hay fever and how I deal with pollen. So, yeah, I am... Hello guys, and welcome to Bip King Gaming. I'm the Bip King, and today we're going to be playing some more RimWorld. Welcome to episode 10. Ah, uh, yes our lovely little colony here and I think we are gonna carry on with our little project over here how are we looking indoors these haven't actually been turned down so yeah so you can see their their target temperature currently is 21 so we're gonna want to bring that down to oh no that's a little bit too much uh, mad animal let's have a look at what this mad animal is we have a crazy turtle Is he? He doesn't look that mad. Yeah. This is the turtle race. Ah well, we'll we'll, we'll leave him to uh to get down to us whenever he needs to get down to us. But yeah, we're gonna carry on, and we are gonna set this to minus two, and this this one's minus three. We'll put it on minus two. Minus two should be good. And indoors now, and what you'll see is <coughs> food is frozen and won't spoil. That's what we want to see. All of these rooms should be a nice 21 degrees. That one's 19. I suppose... Uh, yeah, we can, we can just hit it up just slightly. Like that, that'll do. And, um, yeah. What we really want to do is we want to finish off this room down here. And... I think we're going to carry on our kind of living area. It's going to have to sacrifice our farms a bit. I think we might sac or, uh, upgrade our, expand our farms up into this area. Psychic drone. Let's have a look. Some distant engine. What? Oh, some, some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone. Uh, oh. A projecting a psychic drone. Am I just terrible at reading or does this make sense? It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be uh, will be quite a bit worse. Okay. So they're projecting a drone uh, in this region. So even though they're only projecting it, it's well, they're still having a negative effect on us. Them projections. Um, yeah, uh, we, we need to speed this up a bit. So, Lucas, my man. I like Lucas. He has been the saving grace for uh, for our little village. I think he's the MVP so far for me. Him and Jackson. Even though Jackson, Jackson did um, get his arse whooped not so long ago. But, yeah. It's uh, it's all good. Lucas is doing well. He's outrun rhinos and he's harvesting. And, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of food coming in now. Which is just absolutely fantastic to see. Uh, Remo uh, has got grenades. Um, I actually want Jackson to have the pistol. And what else do we want to do? Uh, our food isn't looking too bad. We've got quite a bit. There's still a lot of the rhino meat getting cooked through. So that's good. Lucas is on. He is just on that growing. Um, but what I really want is for some people to prioritize this down here. So what is Remo doing? Let's have a look at his character stats. He's quite good at construction, so why isn't he building anything? Remo... See, you're a construction one. Uh, da, 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 da. And guys, I, I apologize if you have to listen to my sniffles throughout this, um, because we, we've currently got a heat wave here in the UK. And it's raising havoc with uh, with my hay fever and how I deal with pollen. So, yeah, I, um, flowers are currently making me their bitch. So that's something that I have to deal with. That's the kind of uh, it's the kind of life I live. Flowers make me their bitch. All right, I really want someone to start remote. Like you're literally doing nothing. Prioritize this. Like we need to get this built. There we go. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, what have we got? Machining! Yes! Good on you, Jackson. So what should we have a look at next? 
Uh, explosive ideas seems a bit crazy. Electronic smelting could be good. Smithing. Uh, craft metal weapons. Since we've got quite a lot of brawlers, I feel like this would be good to get. But uh, actually, no, we want microelectronics. Because that would allow us to get some of the um, the higher level things. Um, he should get through that research quite quickly. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, another thing I want to do is I want to turn... I want kind of a corridor coming down through this bit. And I think we're going to expand this room to... Yeah, we're definitely going to expand this room. And the way we're going to do that is by orders. And then we're going to go in the end of mine. Then we're going to do this. We're actually going to go all the way up to this wall here. Um, why did that not? There we are. There we are. So they're, like, I mean, they're going crazy in here now. Uh, and what we've got is a kind of, this here will eventually be um, kind of a recreational room, I think. Maybe, maybe. How oh, should I do it? Oh, I think this might actually be the construction room. Or should, I would like to build that somewhere else, to be honest. But, but hey, actually, what if we make the construct, like the kind of building, because that, that will be next to the thing. That seems quite, like, pretty legit. I think that would be a good idea. But we still want to do this because it means that I can turn this into the recreational area, which is which is good for me. Uh, how are we doing? Do we still have our dog? Like, oh, we got visitors. So what we want to do is we want to definitely have a chat with this. We still have our Yorkshire Terrier, so that's good. Oh, I'm sorry, I just bumped the mic. That was probably very horrible for you guys. Um... Lucas, you are my main man when it comes to social. So, yeah, one thing that I've learned is, uh, or that I, I learned throughout playing this game, is that the higher social you have, uh, the better prices you get. So that's pretty good. Incendiary launcher. That sounds like one aggressive weapon. But what we're actually going to do here is we're going to get rid of some of these bows. Uh, we've got a sh normal, poor, poor, normal. Get rid of that one as well. Steel shiv, sandstone, and limestone. So we can get rid of those. Um, now just kind of help to clear up our inventory. I do want those. I do want their three components and I do want their medicine. Uh, is there anything else we want? Bionic eye, we don't really need that. This is kind of just like a weapons Kevlar helmet. Well, I've got machining now, so I can actually make that myself. So we're going to do that. I'm going to call that pretty successful. Uh, Lucas is chilling up there. Uh, oh, it's uh, a little bit laggy. I do apologize. Um, what I want to do in here is I want to start hauling this out. Um, and then I also want... I want someone to clean, so we'll put that as two and two, and that should do. Two and two, and that should do. Okay, so what I'm going to do for now, at least, <coughs> is in here I'm going to make the machining room. Um, I kind of want it to be up here. I kind of do, and I want this to be a hospital with a door going into the kitchen. Yeah. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So, okay, so we're going to go straight into structures. Uh, slate is looking best. Do another two floor. There. There. And we will put... What kind of door should we have, bros? Let's just, let's just take a slate door. Put that in there. Uh, put... One in there, and I suppose we can put one over there. So there's quite a lot of entrances to this room. It will kind of be like a, kind of like a flow through as well, by the by the feel of things. Um, and we need to get some lights going. We definitely need to get some light going. Not sun lamp. Uh, we want. Oh come on! Ah, furniture, isn't it? Yeah, standing lamp. We want one in that corner. I feel like we want one in that corner. 
Um, tell you what, let's just put one in each corner for now, and then we can we can we can go with it from there. We'll speed this up again a little bit. I mean, we're doing great for food now. Food is awesome. 430 potatoes, 284 corn, and 85 meat. And how much have we actually got cooked? F 15 meals, because that's the kind of limit that we've got. So I'm hoping that when Jello and that wake up, uh, they are gonna they're gonna be all for the uh, building of this here. So Rima, where are you off to? No, no, I don't want you to just go wandering. Remo, you are a slacker, sir. I constantly have to tell you to do stuff. And again, he's going wandering. I don't want you to go wandering. Um, like, they're all just kind of wandering about. <clears throat> oh, the party! Oh, I just... I just stopped Remo from having a party. But that's alright, Jackson cannot work on blueprint, fair one. Jello, at least you can come in. Come on, I need you to finish this. You need materials. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we can... Can I? <laughs> Storage. Oh. oh god. Okay, so we just want chips. Okay, we'll just leave that there for now. I was kind of hoping that I could stop them from picking this up, but uh, it doesn't look like I can. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need um, <coughs> to get in production and we need a stone cutter's bench again. S not in steel. Let's just do it in wood. I feel like. Ah, here we go. Alright, so to do that, we're also going to need to chop this down and chop that down. We're looking alright for power now. I mean, we, because we've turned these off, these are causing havoc out here. And they're leaving now, so that's all good, and that should reduce the amount of lag I'm getting. So, and I do apologize for that, Bruce. I do apologize. So, what are we going to do now? We're actually... We're getting to that point again, guys getting to that point where we need to call it an episode um so yeah so this was more of a planning episode uh we kind of finished off a little uh a little dining room down here this is what this is going to be dining room to uh where the bros can eat and in here i feel like i feel like we're going to have some kind of recreational facility um and that'll all be good and then like i said i want kind of a hallway going down like this but that looks like it's going to be for the next episode, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting our stone cutters. Um, also, so what we'll do, just so we don't forget in the next episode, is we'll go in, uh, do forever. Uh, and what that should do is, if I go in here, like that, and then we put that on too. So now what I'm hoping is that when Jackson wakes up in our next episode, he's going to go up, he's going to start making some more um, some more slate blocks for us. And from there, we can finish off this room, we can get some machine going, we start building some assault rifles, some body armor. And yeah, yeah, it should all be working out pretty well for us, guys. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like I mentioned in my previous episode, guys, I'm really starting to hit up and build that community on social media. So I'll leave some links to the Facebook community below and to the, my uh, my Twitter account as well. So follow me. That's um, there's something there's something coming up on my Twitter page that I need your feedback on, and I'll create a poll and I'll explain more in future videos. But yeah, head over there, hit that um, follow button, and uh, you'll know all about it as soon as it comes up. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.